everyone. Thank you for joining me again today. My name is Andalyn. I'm the naturalist here at Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. And today I have something really special to share with you. We're going to watch this owl butterfly emerge from its chrysalis. So here we can see the head just beginning to emerge from the bottom of the chrysalis. Butterflies do come out head first, which sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? Because it's almost like they're dropping out, which in fact they are. So as we keep watching here, we're going to have to see the butterfly do a really tricky move, which is let its big fat abdomen fall out, but still trying to hold grip on its chrysalis so that it doesn't fall to the ground. So as it comes out, its legs are going to have to hold on to the chrysalis. It's going to do a little bit of a flip. There we go. Awesome. Now you can see how small its wings are and that they're kind of wrinkly. These wings will expand to be two to three times their size at the moment. And if the abdomen looks really big and swollen to you, that's for good reason. It's because it's filled with liquid that this butterfly is going to pump into the wings to get them to expand. What is this liquid in the abdomen? Well, it's a bunch of leftover metabolic fluids from being inside the chrysalis. While the butterfly is transforming inside the chrysalis, there is still metabolism going on, which means there's wastes and liquids being produced, and the butterfly stores them inside their abdomen while they're in there. And it's really neat because they're actually not wasting all that stuff. They're putting it to good use after they emerge by using them to pump open the wings. Even during the two minutes we've been watching this owl butterfly, its wings have noticeably gotten larger. See how they're almost the same size as the abdomen now? And as the butterfly continues to pump open the wings, we will see the wings get larger as the abdomen gets smaller because the liquid is moving from one to the other. Now you can actually see some of that liquid, that metabolic waste that was just dropping out of the abdomen there. The expansion or unfolding of the wings can take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Another thing that not everybody realizes when a butterfly has emerged from its chrysalis is that they actually have to zip together their tongue. Their tongue is also called a proboscis and it comes out in two pieces, like two straws. So they have to uncurl and curl and uncurl and curl their proboscis many times to kind of get it to zip up together down the middle. Now you may be wondering how a butterfly can even open and close, curl and uncurl its proboscis anyway. And this is kind of one fun way to think about it. So butterfly proboscis is kind of like a curly straw, curled up when it's not in use and they can unroll it and it can spring back. This is a turkey baster which I can use to, if I press on it, the air will make the curly straw expand. And it's not too far off from the truth. Butterflies actually don't use air. They don't have a pump inside their head to open and close the proboscis. So instead of air inside of here, think of this as being liquid. It was not that long ago that scientists found out that it's actually water or liquid pressure a butterfly is using inside of its head to curl and uncurl the proboscis. So as we're watching this owl butterfly, you may see that curly thing at the top near its eyes, which is its proboscis, move a little bit and curl and uncurl. We've been watching this owl butterfly for just a little over five minutes and its wings are actually almost all unfurled. Can you see how the butterfly is just moving the slightest bit side to side while it's hanging? While the wings are unfurling, they're really quite wet. I mean, as you can imagine, a membrane like a wing needs to be damp or wet in order to expand like this. But can a butterfly fly with really heavy, damp wings? It wouldn't be able to fly so well. So after the wings are open, then they're gonna have to air dry. And the butterfly will move gently from side to side to kind of keep the air moving around its wings so that the air doesn't get too saturated with that moisture. Now while the butterfly is sitting still, I'd like you to take a really close look at its legs. Can you count how many there are here? There's two at the front and then two hanging on at the back. Well, the owl butterfly actually belongs to a really large family of butterflies. 
They're called the brush-footed butterflies. And they do have six legs. It's just the first pair of legs, the very front two, are so small you can barely see them. And in this picture, it shows you a little easier where those tiny brush feet are. They're just these two little brushy legs tucked up underneath the head of the butterfly. Look at those beautiful colors and patterns. I mean, you've got almost kind of zebra stripe patterning. You've got beautiful browns and then that fake eye spot that looks remarkably like a large owl's eye. So I got it set up so that we could watch it together and just in time because it took under 10 minutes for the butterfly to emerge and open up its wings. I mean, it's not hard to marvel at how amazing this transformation is. That's why we call it metamorphosis, because it's a really crazy change from caterpillar to butterfly. But I mean, just think about all the changes that have gone on in its body. It's not just that they have wings. It went from having a chewing mouth part as a caterpillar to all of a sudden now having a long, curly proboscis. It went from having stumpy legs, just walking along, crawling on a leaf, to having long, elegant legs, as well as wings in order to fly. It went from having small eyes where it can only kind of see light and dark and maybe a bit of movement, and now about 80% of its head are these large, beautiful compound eyes that can see all kinds of colors and light, colors that we can't even see as humans. So the entire world looks different to this butterfly now. And that's what I find the most fascinating about it is just how different the world must look now to this butterfly. I hope you enjoyed today's creature feature. Tune in next for another fun one.